Hey everybody, my name is Attired, mainly a content creator for Star Citizen, but I also play other games. I'm here to do another React on Inside Star Citizen. Today is about distribution allocation. Very curious to see what they have to say. Alrighty, time for the Reacts. Let's do this. At CitizenCon 2952, we introduced the concept of distribution centers. These enormous terrestrial microcosms of Star Citizen's entire FPS experience. And since that time, we've intermittently followed along with their progress as they make their way to the persistent universe in the upcoming Alpha 323. And with that milestone approaching in just the next few months, let's dive underground one more time and see where they're at now and discuss a little more about what you'll be doing once you get inside. What are distribution centers? It's just so these are going to be the massive areas where we're going to have raids. We're going to be able to do cargo runs as well. They're, they also mentioned having side missions here too. Um, maybe like delivery missions of like single or two packages at a time with drop off zones being here too. So we've seen a lot of art about this. We've heard a lot about it and they're scheduled to come out in 323. So I am pretty curious. Super, super, super basic question but I've got to unravel about two years' worth of development time in order to answer it. So a distribution centre is a colossal hub that an organisation owns that they distribute goods for, and this could be commodities themselves or stuff that they're making. They're very big locations on the ground. They're a hive of activity. But you can also go there and cause some chaos as well. To the player, depending on what faction it is, it's still going to be a means to way of getting different types of missions. We don't want you to go to this location and be the only person there doing a thing. In some locations, you're going to find that you're just doing a delivery mission, you're hauling some... Okay, that's pretty cool, and that kind of goes to what I was just saying, is there's going to be multiple activities here that everybody's going to be able to do kind of at the same time, which, from what it sounds like, they're just trying to give the place life and have more reasons for people to be kind of coming and going, which could be cool. It's kind of like a space station on the ground. Cargo out there, you're dropping it off and you're getting your fee for doing that. But while that's happening, another player could be infiltrating it. Uh, they could be assassinating a VIP in there. They provide a large variety of gameplay. Anything to bombing runs. First person combat. That was cool. That was very cool. I want more of that. Theft, you name it. A whole quagmire of uh, different things going on at any one time. Basically a microcosm for all the FPS-related gameplay uh, in the universe. What's your favorite thing about the distribution centers? They're nearly done. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, TM. Yeah, yeah, we believe that. So at CitizenCon, we showed you what is going on at these locations, but you want to know what's actually coming in 3.23, so let me tell you. We're going to have multiple DCs throughout the Stanton system. Each one of those is going to be owned by different brands. Some of them are going to be friendly towards you. Some of them, they're going to be hostile towards you. At each location, you're going to have access to both sides of the building, both wings. On those wings, we have two landing pads and a hangar and two cargo freight elevators. Okay, this looks pretty fantastic. Just visually, really, really liking the layout and the visuals and the artwork. Yeah, this is, this is going to be good, hopefully. Plus, you've got the wing itself, so all the missions that you can do outside. On the inside, you'll have access to the lobby and the rooms off that, so sleeping habs, a kitchenette, some VIP spaces, and some maintenance places in there as well, all with missions. Below that, you're into the main body of it, which has got the central part, which is the warehouse, which is where mainly all the goods go. Branching off of that leads into two side roads. From there, there can be a mixture of rooms. It's always a cargo shop, which is a um, part delivery space, part canteen for the staff to use for refreshment and taking a break. Okay, so a lot of things that aren't going to be super useful yet, so... But this looks actually super cool with, like, the cargo refractor is probably going to be a part of this. Look at all those boxes. Look at all those SCU 
boxes. Those look like one, but I don't know, they could be longer. What's up, Bilal? Welcome in. Thanks for joining. Storage rooms, which are the main hole of distributing big cargo boxes, which have to be used to be picked up via a tractor beam. There are work arrest areas, there are security areas, side rooms. And a side road, which is more like a little maintenance area, but it does have an underfloor, again, with the ventilation access. That's on the inside. Branching out from that as well, there are two wings. Uh, each one comes equipped with a cargo area, a um, shipping depot, and security door. That'll be kind of cool. I hope we get to do actually like drive around and kind of discover the location and check stuff out. They'll probably have races around these places actually eventually, which will be pretty cool. On the outside. Hopefully enough content for you to get your teeth into in this kind of initial release. Can you bring vehicles inside? Uh, to the outside wings, yes, but you can't drive them into the actual center, no. No. <laughs> Sound really confident about it. <laughs> Why can't you take vehicles inside? Because we blocked them off. How'd you block them off? Uh, all odds. Vehicle force field? All odds. You're telling me there's no way a player is going to be able to track your beam of a vehicle over those ballers and get a vehicle inside. I would like to say no. <laughs> Don't worry. First thing anybody's going to do is find a way to do exactly that. Welcome, man, Odyssey. <laughs> no, don't tell him to go away. We want more people. But welcome in. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for joining. Alrighty. Okay. More more react. Backers, you know better. <laughs> the challenge is made. Get the See what did I just say? This is the new challenge. We are going to try to get vehicles inside the uh the distribution center. The vehicles in there. <laughs> <laughs> So what will bring players to the distribution centers will depend on the type of player, as we want to give variety, depending if you're an aggressive player or a non-aggressive player and or lawful or unlawful. It's for the four types of player that exist in the persistent universe. So there's aggressive, lawful, unaggressive, lawful, aggressive, unlawful, and unaggressive, unlawful. So you really should be able to choose your style of how you want to play this, which will be cool. Um, yeah, Odyssey, I don't know if you'll be getting 60 FPS inside of this uh, right right off the bat. I don't think I'll be getting 60 FPS inside of these things. But I'm glad you've been able to play a C. That's good. Keep it up. I hope you're having fun with it. Which one are you? I quite like being aggressive. If you're going to go in, you might as well go go in hard, right? I'm nice in real life, so I can be aggressive and lawful in the verse. <laughs> For aggressive, lawful players, you might get a mission where you have to go in and defend one of the distribution centers from a hostile attack by outlaw gangs. You could receive a distress call from the owner of the distribution center being informed that a gang is trying to acquire goods from a certain section of it, say, the store. Okay, this will be cool. But essentially, kind of what we have with bunker missions just now, you know, uh, at a distribution center on a bigger scale. Storage room. The play will arrive. Um, they will make their way uh, to the location which is under attack. They will go in, they will see a battle underway uh, between defending forces and the attackers, and they will join sides with the defending forces to take out the attackers. Those attackers might come in waves, they might have big heavies with them. Okay, this looks really cool. I'm liking this a lot. A lot of places to hide, a lot of places to duck for cover. This will be fun. And then with the new scanning tool that we'll have added, this should make this, or that should make this much, much, much more enjoyable and interesting. Although I'm kind of curious, like, how deep in do you have to go? I hope it's not like, all right, we made it through the front door. It's actually right here. Grab your stuff and go. Okay, that would, that would kind of suck. They might have bigger weaponry. 
um, but you will join together, possibly with friends, to take out this big assaulting force. Lawful non-aggressive players might want to do something more like delivery or hauling. It's a distribution center. Um, so you'll be able to come in, land, load your ship with all the various cargo, depending on what kind of distribution center it is, and take it where it needs to go, whether that's another distribution center or somewhere else completely different. The plan from doing an internal delivery would be using a hover trolley to distribute one cargo or multiple cargo boxes from one section in the distribution center to another. They really are big enough to do an entire mission without ever leaving. That is super awesome, and I'm really glad they just said that. So that's really cool. So people doing like zero to hero runs or people with no money who aren't super interested in ships but kind of want to do the industrial life and stuff like that, if they're able to just come into these distribution centers and just, you know, well, today I'm a loader, so I'm taking this from section A to section C and, you know, do stuff like that. That could be cool. I don't know if that'll be, you know, riveting as an experience, but we'll see. We're doing a delivery from one room, let's say the storage room, up to the lobby. For an aggressive illegal player, you might do an all-out assault on the distribution center. You can fly in, um, the location security will kick in, so you'll be trespassing, you'll get shot at by turrets. If you manage to land, you will infiltrate the facility. All guards will be hostile to you, and you can go in, you can, uh, if it's an assassination mission, you can go in, take out VIP. If it's a theft mission, you can run a heist, go in, rob the place, get out again. That sounds really cool. If we can set up heists within Star Citizen, that's going to be absolutely awesome. Which, uh, distribution centers, especially the bigger company ones, would have armed guards at least on site. They'd also have um, turrets mobilized around the outside, so you would have to, you coming in by air is very dangerous because you would be distinctly seen as trespassing. So each security zone around distribution center protects it, even from the air, not just the ground. So for non-aggressive, unlawful uh, theft missions would be a prime example of you sneaking into distribution center to avoid being detected by security to acquire goods unlawfully. You can basically do a stealth version of the hostile mission. So instead of it being an all-out assault and going in guns blazing, maybe you find a back route and maybe you sneak in past guards, make your way. That's going to be really cool, and you're probably going to see a lot of people just trying to map out these areas and figure out all the different routes. Uh, that should be pretty cool. That'll be fun. A to the location without being detected. If you get the item that you need to steal, uh, you can turn around, make your way out, and hope they don't find you. For players that don't have a mission, the response that you get when you approach a distribution center is going to depend on which distribution center it is. Some are going to welcome visitors. They'll be quite happy to see you. Others definitely don't want any visitors at all. So depending on the type of facility, some public ones, and you'll be able to come in and just use it as a social space. Other higher security level ones, you would not have or be granted access without being granted a mission. So besides missions, if a player decides... That's pretty cool. So I'm assuming, you know, obviously this is all tinfoil hat until we really see it in game. But uh, if there's friendly and not so friendly places, then I'm assuming there's like places you'll be able to go to get some cool gear because that distribution center has it. Kind of like we do already with the different arc stations or um, spaceports. I'm, I'm actually really, really looking forward to this. You know, the area itself looks absolutely awesome, but I hope that, yeah, the gameplay kind of follows and it's not uh, a lot of repetition. Oopsies. It's to go like full chaotic evil inside the distribution center. They can go in full guns blazing, but they're going to be met with a lot of resistance. So you're going to need to see some pretty, like I'd ha a heavily armored ship to deal with the anti-air guns and a lot of firepower when you get inside because there's a load of guards to deal with. So a big driving force behind the distribution centers is to really bring players together in all different kinds of ways. So maybe you've got somebody there who's running a delivery mission and at the same time, you've got a group of people coming in to raid the place and steal a bunch of stuff. They all get caught up together 
in a whole big mess and the hope is that it's a fun, exciting and probably quite chaotic experience. We want it so that as you're playing it through, yeah, other things are happening around you, things that you sort of want to get involved in yourself. I hope the players perceive it as mainly for the variety to give the players the choice to like to, to lean into, do they want to be aggressive or do they want to be passive, that we know different players like playing different ways, so we're hoping this variety in the distribution centre gives the players the access whether they want to play that aggressive or passive fantasy inside the verse. Of course, this is the first drop of the distribution centres and development will be ongoing. We're shooting for a healthy variety of distribution centres uh, for 323 and more to come as we approach 4.0. So at some point after 3.23 and into the future, I don't know when, we are going to be looking at the end game stuff that you want to play and that's going to be in the form of raids. Raid! Raid! Okay, so that's super, super important to note right now is we're not going to be getting raids in 3.23 with the first iteration of these hubs. But the more I listen to this, the more I watch, the more I feel like these are essentially just cities, like what we already have, like Area 18, uh, New Babbage, uh, Lorville, or Orison. These are essentially just city-sized areas where we can go do all the stuff that we've kind of always wanted to do in a city, you know, do a mission where you're attacking it, do things where multiple people are doing different activities, and yeah, maybe... Somebody who's doing a delivery decides that, you know what, they're going to defend the facility because how dare these guys come in and attack this as a group while they're doing a delivery mission. You'll probably see a lot of other stuff. And then one of the things I'm curious about, and I don't think they've talked about it yet, and I don't know if we know anything about this, chat, if you know, please call it out. But I think um, if they have bounties being collected or dropped off here too and you have unlawful players coming in to attack and there's a bounty hunter there already that can make for an interesting situation i think it's going to be i think some changes need to happen and we'll see what happens with the ui the moby glass and the star map but if people coming in who are already there and you're looking to team up i think there needs to be not necessarily like a raid system or like a dungeon, you know, finder, whatever, kind of like World of Warcraft, but like maybe, I don't know, some extra form of communication, maybe a notification like, hey, maybe the group comes in and then they know other players are there and they put up a, a, a message or something saying, hey, you know, all are welcome to join us in this raid or something else, you know. I don't know, maybe there, I'll, I'll think that through a little bit more and try to develop that thought, but there's, I hope it isn't just a, oh look, that looks like a player, and I'm dead. <laughs> Why were they there? Beans. Don't put that in. Oh, we're definitely leaving <laughs> that in. So, what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that distribution centers will be home to missions and gameplay of every sort, that Alpha 323 will mark their arrival, that the much-anticipated raid gameplay first discussed at CitizenCon will follow at some point thereafter. And that if you're the ISC gameplay capture team working in builds weeks and sometimes even months before Evocati, you may find that the planets of Pyro and Stanton have, have loaded into the same physical space and turned themselves inside out. And all you're trying to do is make your weekly show. Don't worry, they're having the time of their lives. That's That sounds absolutely hilarious. And I I need to go find footage of that now. For Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. Thanks for letting us share the process of game development with you. And we'll see you all here next week. Like Yay, that. Jared. Okay. What's up with the hands? All right, any funny bloopers this week? Of course there are. So let's hang out for those. What are they going to be? Now I... And the time of my life. What is this? Though I never felt like this before. Yes, I what? swear. What is this? It's the truth. And I owe it all to you, Booch. Jared, you're insane. What? I don't. I mean, that was hilarious, but I don't. He is a pretty decent singer. I agree. I agree. I, I have to completely agree. All right, everybody, thanks for hanging out for my reactor. I really appreciate it. With that. <laughs>